with Slayer's impending release tomorrow, I thought it'd be a good time to look at my roster gains over the last few months. We're at about 3,700 hours, and this is gonna be an interesting one. Let's go ahead and start with my Glavier. Currently, she doesn't know where she's at. She's looking a little confused. But, and that's probably because we're 1561, and we still have not done Hard Brell five through six. And it's not for lack of trying. I have not really honed any higher than 1561 because I have stopped completely trying to do Braille hards five and six because it just takes too much time, which is really unfortunate because I like the raid, but it's just, it's too much in my opinion. And I'm actually gonna make a video over what I feel like could be good solutions to this for the current player base and the new upcoming player base as well. I haven't made any gym setup improvements because frankly, there's not really a need to and the damage gains I'll be getting from it aren't really worth it for the amount of gold that I'll be spending that I could instead be spending on my new upcoming slayer which we'll get into in just a second i'm really just looking for her 5x3 plus one setup casually i'm definitely going to try to get as close to 1800 spec as possible she is my mate i still really really enjoy playing glavier let's go ahead and move on to the death blade as you can see my death blade is looking pretty spicy because she was doing some guardian raids and some chaos dungeons earlier make sure and wear that makoko suit shortly after we got to 1553 Brel Hard came out and I started pugging through Brel Shaza Hard and I was like, you know what? It's not even worth it to do gates five and six because the time sink is insane. So I'm just gonna do one through four each week and then five and six on normal, easy peasy. That's what I've been doing. I've been slowly collecting my ancient gear and I'm also looking for a five by three surge setup, baby. So I have everything set up here and I'm just waiting to get the good, good accessories. I already got a level nine surge gem as well. I'm pretty excited to be able to have a five by three build with my remaining energy and a five by three build for surge. That way I can switch in between them because surge is really fun in, in my opinion, so is remaining energy. Let's go ahead and move on to the gunslinger. I've been having some seriously conflicting thoughts. I was thinking about maybe going back to Peacemaker build a five by three plus one. Now's the perfect opportunity because I already have a five by three time to hunt build, which I love. So I can make a five by three plus one or even just a five by three Peacemaker build. I can have both builds. I'm really liking the diversity here. But I went ahead and put on my four by three Peacemaker build started running some raids with it and i just thought to myself you know i really do love my time to hunt so i am not going peacemaker you thought but it's not going to happen i'm sticking with time to hunt and i'm going to go full spec with swiftness on the necklace we are about to have level three yearning on supports so i'm going to get even more speed which is why i even had a little bit more swiftness in the first place so now that's going to be mitigated a little bit i'm just going to go full spec swift I've just been doing gates one and two on hard mode, Brelshaza, and then three, four, five, and six on normal. Again, just to save more time because I've been working on a lot of these videos, trying to get everything done and make as much gold as possible for the Slayer release. Plus I bought an absolute ton of blue crystals. So I spent like 70 or 80K on blue crystals just so I could buy a ton of these honor shard pouches as well. So I have like 13, I think, of the large honor pouches. Yeah, 13 ready to rock and roll for Slayer, along with a lot of other mats, which again, we'll go over in just a little bit. But I haven't done anything crazy on my Gunslinger. The cool thing though about Time to Hunt is that the two biggest damaging skills, Target Down and Focus Shot. So the next gem upgrades I will get are just level nine gems for those two skills. But let's go ahead and move on to the Sorceress, because there have definitely been some changes over there. I think I've finally found the right build that just syncs up for my enjoyment plus doing pretty darn good damage. So I'm a spec swift igniter. I have really, really enjoyed having this bit of swiftness. It parses very consistently in Trixian and I'm actually gonna make a comparison video between spec crit, full nightmare, hallucination, all that with spec swift, nightmare, full hallucination and mine, my four hallucination to my nightmare. Look out for it. And if you play sorcerers, let me know what build you play. Now on to my newest edition of my top six plus 1500, the striker. We went with a five by three ESO build, which I freaking love. 
I'm so hyped to push him to 1540 here in just a bit. After the Slayer release, it's gonna happen. The reason I decided to go ESO is because I hate spec crit builds. I am really realizing this. Deathblade's a little bit different with remaining energy because you get the speed boost with the engraving. I know that the typical ESO striker build is run about 1200 swift, five, 600 spec, and about 600 crit as well. I would not have fun with that high of a swiftness class. 1200 spec, 500 swift, and almost 600 crit feels so freaking good to move around, the playability of it, the mobility of the skills just built in as is, it is so much fun. And I'm gonna be going over this build and how I've enjoyed it and you know the tricks and damage, all that kind of stuff in a later video. So make sure and stay tuned for that. And if you have a striker, tell me which class engraving you play and what you like about it and what you don't like about it because I'm super curious as I'm kinda new to this class. We've got all level seven gems except for my spiral impact cooldown gem, which is not too big of a deal. But let's go ahead and talk about the class who is going to be dropping out of my top six now that Slayer is gonna be here tomorrow. This sad Muppet's gonna get replaced and it's for two big reasons. Her sword's way bigger and she doesn't put me to sleep whenever I'm trying to play her. Wait, what two things did you think I was gonna say? This dude is gone. I'm tired of playing him even though he is actually insanely handsome. I'm tired of it. I just, I don't wanna play him anymore. I literally go to sleep whenever I play him. I've had multiple head injuries because of this, a serious health hazard, and I gotta put him away. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to make any more gold off of him, so he's pretty much useless. With that being said, let's go ahead and head on over to my alternate roster. We're a little poor on this account. That's okay, I just transferred over some gold to my main roster. We have upgraded the Berserker to 1500. And we are slowly doing bro. We're Proclin every week, okay? We're the Procol master, and I have the most scuffed mayhem build ever. No, actually it's not that scuffed. It's really not that bad. Your pots do so much healing, it's ridiculous. For example, I just use blue pots in raids because it heals like a purple pot, even with Kerr's doll. It's ridiculous. If you're face tanking everything, then yes, of course you're gonna die. You move around without a berserker brain, then you will be just fine. I definitely plan to go five by three plus one and I detailed this actually in the video I just made about how to make a five by three plus one build for as cheap as possible in a step-by-step -step process so you can still have a great build, but be very efficient with your gold at the same time. So watch that if you haven't already. But as far as gems and everything, we've got full level sevens. We're still rocking Lost Wing Cliff. I switched from Berserker's Technique because it was a spec-based build, which is kind of similar to the spec-based build on Slayer, but I didn't want to play both of the spec-based builds. So I'm going to play spec on my Slayer and I'm going to go Mayhem on the Berserker. Artist is so much fun. I enjoy her a hundred times more than I do Paladin. And my only wish is that I could have made her instead of him. She will have to do for now at 1460, that's okay. We got four by three set up with her, but every time I play my artist, I get an itch. I just, I don't wanna scratch it. I wanna hone, but I've gotta reel myself back with some discipline. My Glavier, my Slayer, my Striker are more important. And she is just a gold earner. And it's so hard for me to admit sometimes. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Reaper, which I made a massive change as of today. And I gotta tell you about it. I was full swiftness as this Hunger Reaper. And I won't lie, after the first couple weeks of playing her, my fingers would literally hurt when I was having to play her because there's so much to do. And I've been looking and looking for accessories. Finally, I found some that were pretty dang cheap to switch her to half and half. And oh my gosh, I am so glad that I made the switch. I also changed her tripod on Rage Spear to Fatal Dagger instead of Quick Prep. That way it would slow it down even more as far as the rotations and the skill use because I want to maintain pretty good damage and have fun playing the class. I went through the raids today. I went through Vicus and Vaulton and Argos because she is strategically placed at 1472.5 because I wasn't really ready to take her to clown with where she was as full swiftness because I really did not enjoy getting on to her and playing well, selecting her to play. So I'm glad that I made the switch and I'm actually probably gonna push her to clown one more hone either this week 
or next week. And we are still hanging out right here with this 4x3 plus 2. Need these last three. I just need the legendary books, but they are about a thousand gold. And I do not want to invest 20k into this class as of right now. I have my barrage artillerist and my machinist that have not changed at all, but I still enjoy playing them from time to time. But I'm definitely not going to be leveling them up anytime soon unless there's a honing change that it's only going to cost silver to do so. Then I would definitely consider it. Let me know where y'all's rosters are at. I'm very curious to see and to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions about running two rosters on the same account or on the same region or whatever it may be, please ask them in the comments. I'd love to answer them how that all works with like power passes and you know maybe some of that kind of stuff with progression events, all that. But aside from that, guys, Slayer is coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna be honing up to 1490 literally within a couple hours i'm going to be bringing y'all a video over the progression event as soon as the update goes live i'm going to be up i'm ready to rock and if you don't mind go ahead and like this video and consider subscribing to the channel we have literally blown past 2,000 subs it was crazy i feel like just yesterday we were at 2,000. now we're at 2300 guys my end of the year goal was 2500 we are there basically let's freaking do this boys we're gonna get to 2500 by june that's my birthday month holy crap that would be insane i know that we can get there with your help so if you like lost ark if you like the updates that are coming or if you're even just thinking about getting into lost ark leave a like on this video subscribe i'm gonna keep you up to date and uh, i'm also about to make a banging discord for everybody to be part of this awesome community Guys, I'm going to see you on the next video.